How we doing everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Mash and Drum Whiskey Room. I am Jason C. And if you're a subscriber, welcome back. Glad to see you again. Uh, if it's your first time here, you're looking for the latest in whiskey and bourbon news and reviews, you have come to the right place. So think about hitting that subscribe button and think about hitting that bell notification right next to it so you know when I'm putting out a new video. Today we have a new addition to the Jack Daniels Single Barrel Collection, which I think is actually a pretty impressive range of Tennessee whiskey expressions that showcase some of the out-of-box ideas not typical to what people really know about Jack Daniels. So the latest of these is the brand new Heritage Barrel Special Release which focuses on the ideas of toasting a barrel at a lower entry proof. So like a lot of people Jack Daniels was one of my first experiences into whiskey years ago and if you're like me it kind of really went to the back burner once I started discovering uh, more bourbons and, and other whiskeys, but when I tried the Jack Daniels single barrel release followed by the single barrel barrel proof release, I really loved them and thought they offered so much uh, flavor and complexity that I thought I would never really find in a Tennessee whiskey or Jack Daniels. So uh, it was great interest to me when this special edition was announced. So with their new Heritage Barrel, the folks at Jack Daniels are mainly focused on barrel toasting techniques of early barrel coopers. So Jack Daniel makes their own barrels, which is an extreme rarity among the major distilleries. So the Jack Daniels Single Barrel Heritage Barrel release, according to those behind it, came about when master distiller Jeff Arnett and his team of whiskey makers selected from about 200 handcrafted barrels that were then slowly heated to achieve a deeper, richer toasted layer before being charred. The whiskey then matured at a lower entry proof in the uppermost reaches of one of the highest elevated rickhouses in Lynchburg, Tennessee, and was bottled at 100 proof. The end result is said to be a flavorful and rich Tennessee whiskey that has a warm notes of vanilla, sweet baking spices and a long finish of oak. Um, we hold ourselves to the highest standard when crafting and selecting Jack Daniels single barrel products, said Jeff Arnett in a prepared statement. The, this unique uh, barrel toasting behind Heritage Barrel created a flavor you won't find in any other single barrel expression. We believe we've made a whiskey that would make our earliest Coopers and Mr. Jack himself very proud. All right guys, so before we open this, as I mentioned, the Jack Daniels Single Barrel Heritage Barrel, it's a limited edition release for the brand Single Barrel Series. As is the case for all Jack Daniels whiskeys, these barrels were constructed at the brand's own cooperage facility, uh, matured at the top of the highest elevated warehouses, aged in new, toasted, then charred American oak, bottled at 100 proof. This is a US exclusive release with an MSRP of about 65 bucks. So it's got some cool details on the side here. It's got uh, the actual barrel number and everything, which is really cool. Has a nice little story about it attached to it. Um, really good looking bottle. So let's get a pop here. Oh, kind of a light pop. Let's get the pour. It's nice and dark, really dark actually. All right guys, let's get into it. All right guys, so as I mentioned, the color on this is pretty dark. I wanna take a look at the color. It's got, um, really really dark copper color really dark amber honey really nice color on it um really good legs sticking to the glass all right it's really nice let's get into the nose guys here we go wow interesting so normally on jack daniels and i know some people do get this on the nose they get a uh, uh, a banana scent and there is a banana scent here but it's actually coming through with also some nice vanilla and caramel. It's, it's kind of a nice balance. It's not, you know, full power of banana kind of hitting you in the face. Wow, it's got um, maple syrup. Mm, definitely a lot of good amount of oak in there from the, uh, from the toasting and then the char. Wow, it's really, it smells really rich. This is very desserty in a glass. Wow, the, now the maple syrup, um, oh, that maple syrup flavor is really coming through. Definitely benefiting from that Lincoln County process of the Tennessee whiskey, you know, the maple coal filtered. Mm. Wow, there's, I mean, the, the caramel and oak and the and the mix with the banana and the, and the vanilla and that maple syrup it's just such an inviting nose it's really really inviting and delicious so all right guys let's go for the first sip can't wait cheers here we go oh man wow 
Ah, oh, that is so good. Very surprising. You're getting that maple syrup note that you can, you know, usually find on a Jack Daniels, but it's just so like concentrated. Maple syrup hits you. Ah, oh, then you get those vanillas, caramels. You get a little bit of that banana, but the banana is it's it's like it's covered in um brown sugar like a banana's foster or uh or like a sweet plantains. Mm. Like brown butter and brown sugar. Well, that's really good. All right, let's uh, let's go in for the second sip. See what other flavors we can pull out here. Mmm. <laughs> wow, so good. Oh, now I'm getting a little bit of an orange kick in there too. Wow, there's a lot of flavors in here to be found. I mean, there's man the baking spices in here, vanilla caramels. You know what's really impressing me about this bottle so far? It's the it's the oak flavor on it. The oak flavor is kind of it's not really on the finish. It's not kind of towards the end. It is overlaying the entire experience. So those sweet flavors, those really nice sweet flavors that come through, the vanilla, the caramel, that maple syrup, the the bananas foster, it it it's there and it's strong, but that really nice toasted oak, it's a really nice sweet oak. Mmm, that is really good. Very surprising how good this is. Um, you know, I love the barrel proof so much, uh, but I feel like the barrel proof, you're getting those typical Jack Daniels flavors really, really amped up. Whereas this is just slightly different. It just seems like it's more balanced to me. It's really nice. All right, let's go in for one more sip here. Mm, yeah, that's really good. The, you know, what this is reminding me of a little bit. Um, this is reminding me a little bit of the Michter's toasted bourbon that I've had. Um, very similar with that really nice spicy oak coming through along the entire experience. Definitely a little bit different of a flavor profile. I mean, this is this is definitely a little bit sweeter. But it's got that really nice toasted oak flavor that's just, you know, kind of enveloped throughout the whole experience. It's, it's really good, surprisingly delicious. I'm very, very happy I picked this one up. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, have another glass. And I told you I was a big fan of the single barrel series. Now, the single barrel bottle I had, I finished already. So I bought this little taster. This is their single barrel select. And I just want to do a quick comparison to kind of go through the different flavors and profiles that, you know, I'm going to find maybe to help you kind of see, you know, which one you may like better. So let me pour this one. Now, the single barrel select comes in at 47% uh, ABV. So that's 94 proof. And let's just get a quick comparison and see, uh, you know, how they match up here. All right, so let's try this one on the nose. All right, so this one is more typical Jack Daniels on the nose. Well, Jack Daniels Select Barrel Series. This is um, definitely maple syrup. You're definitely getting those Lincoln County process uh, notes on there. The maple, some oak, definitely caramel. You're definitely getting that, that hint of banana flavor that I always get on the nose. Yeah, just a, just a great version of for, uh, for Jack Daniels. I, I actually really like this stuff too. So let's go to the palate. Yeah, so, so this is, it's still very sweet. You're still getting those typical Jack Daniels flavors, but they are amped up a little bit on this. It's very good, but I mean, with this one, the, the oak influence on that, I think is what's making the difference. This is a slightly higher proof to that 100 proof. It's, uh, I don't know, it's just got more of those, those really deep, dark toasted oak flavors that are just playing so well with the sweetness of this. It's really, really delicious. All right, guys, so let's compare it to this one. Wow, yeah, I mean, oh my God, the difference is incredible. It really is. So the single barrel select is your Jack Daniel flavor profile, higher proof, definitely amped up flavors, but it's still those typical 
maple syrup, banana, caramel, vanilla flavors that you get in a Jack Daniels, but you know, definitely amped up a little bit. This is the flavor profile completely taking to a whole different level. You're getting those maple syrup, you're getting caramel, you're getting vanilla, but those deep dark brown sugars, and I think the biggest difference is in this is the, obviously that, that barrel influence. It's amazing what toasting a barrel and, and then charring it can do for a whiskey. It's taking those Jack Daniels flavors profiles that everybody loves and, and kind of imparting that, that toasted oak flavor all the way through without making it bitter, which is amazing. It's all sweet oak, cinnamon, spices. I mean, I could go on and on. Um, if you see this for $65 and you're a huge Jack Daniels fan, well, if you're just an overall whiskey fan, I would highly recommend either picking this up or at least giving it a try somewhere. I think it'd be really surprised and I think it's absolutely delicious. All right, guys, well, thanks again for watching another episode of the Master and Drum Whiskey Room. Hope you had a great time. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button below. Please hit that like button. Um, if you haven't already, please follow me on Instagram. I uh, love chatting with you guys. You can also find me on Twitter. And like I always say, it is not about the whiskey. It is the people you share it with. So cheers, everyone, and I am going to enjoy some more Heritage Barrel. Cheers.